Did you hear the news? Netflix replaced React.js with vanilla JavaScript. That's the topic of our discussion for the next five minutes. Netflix is well known for its numerous innovations, from revolutionizing video streaming to pioneering AI-driven content recommendations. And while millions tune in purely for entertainment, Jelvix experts have been following not just its top movie hits, but also its game-changing tech strategies. So let's dive into the surprising case of why Netflix moved away from React.js to vanilla JavaScript. Was it a mistake or a brilliant move? And of course, our experts will sum up the key lessons you can apply to your own projects. Make sure to watch the video until the end. So let's kick things off by examining Netflix's implementation of React. React has been one of the most dominant JavaScript frameworks, helping developers build powerful and interactive applications. So no wonder Netflix initially used React across the board, including their landing and sign-in pages. Initially, React.js seemed like the perfect fit for their platform, and Jelvix experts clearly see why. React's component-based architecture, virtual DOM, the document object model, and performance optimizations allowed Netflix engineers to efficiently manage UI state, reuse components, and improve rendering efficiency. React also enables server-side rendering, which helps pages load faster and improves SEO. Satisfied with these advantages, Netflix used React for both its landing pages and full web app experience for years. But eventually, the time for change arrived. So what was the deal? We have a few theories about it. To fully understand Netflix's decision, we must compare React.js and vanilla JavaScript in this context. React excels at handling complex UIs, managing state efficiently, and enabling fast updates via its virtual DOM. However, this also comes with trade-offs, larger bundle sizes, additional processing overhead, and increased complexity. The extra JavaScript processing resulted in longer load times, which impacted the first-time user experience, especially on slower devices and networks. After replacing React, several changes were noticed. First, since vanilla JavaScript interacts directly with the browser's DOM, it eliminated the abstraction layer that React introduced. This resulted in smaller file sizes and faster execution, making it a better choice for simple pages where interactivity is minimal. And you won't believe the results. According to Netflix itself, there was a jaw-dropping reduction in loading time by a whole 50%. From the perspective of Jelvix experts, it's been a great move. Netflix realized that their landing and sign-in pages didn't need the full power of React, so they opted for a simpler, more efficient approach. This allows them to provide a faster, more efficient experience for users, with vanilla JavaScript being ideal for this case. It reduces overhead, loads faster, and gives developers full control over execution. However, it doesn't offer built-in state management or UI frameworks, making it harder to scale for complex projects. So what takeaway can we draw from this case? Well, one of the biggest lessons we can take from this is choosing the right tool for the job. The faster your site loads, the better the user experience. Users expect near instant load times, and unnecessary frameworks can slow that down. Hence, just because React is a powerful framework doesn't mean it should be used everywhere. Jelvix experts highlight a simple yet evergreen principle. Technology is a tool, not a one-size-fits-all solution. Netflix's decision to replace React.js with vanilla JavaScript on certain pages is a perfect example of choosing efficiency over convention. This move reminds us that no single framework or technology is universally superior. Each has its place, and the best technology choices are made based on actual project needs, not just popularity or trends. And here's another important lesson. If a framework doesn't provide a clear advantage for your use case, there's no need to introduce unnecessary complexity. Every additional dependency increases load time, potential security risks, and long-term maintenance overhead. By reducing unnecessary abstractions, you improve performance and maintainability while keeping development straightforward. Therefore, sometimes plain JavaScript, HTML, and CSS are enough. Summing up, Netflix's decision teaches us an important lesson. Use the right tool for the job. If you're building a highly interactive web app, React is still one of the best choices. But if your project consists of simple static pages where speed is the priority, you might be better off with plain JavaScript. However, let's be fair, Netflix didn't abandon React altogether. Netflix's full web app, where users browse, watch content, and interact dynamically, still relies on React, because it benefits from React's reactivity and component structure. Therefore, if your application is complex, interactive, and requires frequent UI updates, React makes perfect sense. So, in your view, did Netflix make the right decision? 
and would you drop React for vanilla JavaScript in your projects? Let us know in the comments. Also, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And before we release the next hot video, check out one of our top trending ones. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more exciting insights.